Hello, it's me again. Good to see you. Joke for the day. Once upon a time, there were two old ladies. They were sitting outside the local town hall. Inside, there was a flower competition going on. Local gardener society were there, and it was a really big one. And they were sitting there, they're not really into flowers, talking to each other, and they said, how come nothing exciting ever happens to us anymore? And one of them said, well, I don't know. We could make our own excitement. Yeah, how's that? Tell you what, if I give you five quid, will you take off all your clothes and streak through the hall so everyone can see you? Oh, yeah, for five quid, of course I will, goes the old lady. So with that, the five pounds changes hands and the little old lady removes every last stitch of clothing, goes to the town hall and runs around the entire lap, all the plants and the exhibits and absolutely everything. The lady outside is wondering what's happening when suddenly she hears a tremendous commotion. And then there's cheering and applause. And with that, her friend comes out, followed by everybody else, all cheering and applauding her. She says to her, well, what happened? She said, well, I just got first prize for the best dried arrangement. All right. Graham thought it wasn't very funny either. Yeah, he's just saying he did, but anyway. Today, it's a lovely sunny day. It's made us realise how brilliant our gardens are. It made me realise how much in need of a lot of work ours is. But within our gardens is the potential for growth. There's a potential for us to all get out there and do something very special. To grow flowers, things that will be, bring beauty into our lives. I'm reminded at this time of year of a reading from the Bible, something that Jesus said. I'm going to read it to you now. It's from the Gospel according to St Luke, chapter 12, beginning at verse 27. He said, Consider the lilies, how they grow. They, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the, into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you eat and for what you drink. And do not keep worrying, for it is the nations of the world that strive after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. These words of faith might be a little bit difficult to stomach at the moment, because I know that we're all very, very worried. We're worried about what the next three months is going to throw at us. How are we going to manage? Which one of, ones of us are going to be ill? If we're going to lose any family or friends? And I can't answer those questions. But what I can do is promise you that if we stick together, if we help each other and if we continue to follow the advice given by the government, we will get through it. And if we continue to trust in God and have hope in him, we can actually use this time creatively and actually benefit from it. And maybe even to think about what's important in our lives and concentrate on those. Now, I know that there's lots of children away from school at the moment. So I have a little project for you because I've been shopping. And I have been, and I have bought, some sunflower seeds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into little packages, put them up by our churches, and I would encourage children to come along and plant some of the seeds, and over the next three months to try and nurture them and see how big and how tall you can get them to grow. And when this is all over, there'll be a competition. 
to see who has got the tallest sunflower and who's got the biggest bloom. There will be prizes. Wouldn't it be great if we could all do something really special during this three months? If we can nurture something that is a thing of beauty, whether it a it's a flower or learn to play an instrument or anything like that. Let's try and use this time creatively and remember that God is in it with us. Stay safe.